Well, here's what's on the menu for melting. A bunch of aluminum that came out of a uh, one all-in-one iMac G3. Parts of a chair that met the angle grinder. And here's what the iMac G3 looks like. All that's going in the garbage. I'm not going to mess with that copper. There's not enough there to waste my time on. Hey everyone, Florida Fisherman here. And we're going to go ahead and melt down some aluminum and make some ingots today. Got my ingot molds out. So we're going to keep those right there. Show you my melting furnace. This is the insulated one, unlike the other day when I was melting car parts, because the car parts wouldn't fit in the crucible. But we're going to go ahead and uh, start with a little bit of aluminum and start adding some in as that stuff is starting to melt. And this is what we're going to be melting today. Hacked up an aluminum chair. Got a bunch of miscellaneous uh, computer parts down here and the trusty beer can so yeah we're going to take care of the uh, the beer cans before the can gets full so that's what's on the menu so we're going to go ahead and melt down some stuff so let me get the ipad set up on the tripod and we'll get the show on the road thanks for watching Okay everybody, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing fired up, throw the lid on, and give it a few minutes to get up to temperature and start feeding it aluminum. All right, she's heating up nice, and I'll bring you guys back when I have uh, more to update you. And sorry about the shaky video, but again, it's windy as heck out here today, and this iPad is just a sail in the wind on this tripod. All right, well, that stuff did not take long at all, uh, about five minutes, and I've got a nice pool of aluminum in the bottom of the crucible so the stuff that I put on top to go ahead and preheat I'm gonna go ahead and dump that in and start feeding some more
when that stuff goes down I'll load in some more okay well that didn't take but just a minute so we're gonna go ahead and load up some more aluminum here And you guys will be able to see this stuff will slowly drop down on its own. The crucible covers that entire hole, so. As the bottom melts, they'll start dropping. And they're dropping. won't take long for this either. And they're up to heat now, those pieces, so they're probably going to go pretty quick.
after a couple more dumps into the center of that uh, furnace, we'll be ready to pour some metal and I'll bring you guys back for that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the heat down just a little bit, pull off this lid, scoop off the slag, and we're going to pour some metal here. Okay, stuff's cooled down for a little bit, so let's go ahead and dump this stuff out and see what we got. That's what we got. 
some muffins. Well, that's pretty much just the haul from the computer parts in the chair. I decided to do the cans uh, later. Besides, I like to melt those separate anyway because that aluminum's not as good as uh, stuff they use in computers and car parts and things of that nature. So that's what we got, and I'll go ahead and weigh it up and put the amount in the description when I get the video up. Again, thanks for watching.